What do you want to say to chat? I want to say is Big Dr. Doos! Everyone say Pikachu. I'm trying to get it to them. This is the new character. Her name's Hu Tao. You like her? What can I do? She goes boom and she has ghosts. Uh, I need something to see a say to you a secret and you're not going to say it loud. Okay. Happy Jolly Day. You excited for the new character? Uh, and what's the next new character going to be? Oh, Pikachu! Okay. Peace! Our guides? Well, because they want to be sealies when they grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Though that walking encyclopedia Zhongli would no doubt have a completely different explanation. This is the first English VA I'm like digging. Okay, you should be safe from here. Next time, don't go running around in dangerous places. Of course, if you really enjoy on adventuring, then be my guest. Adventurers are our VIP clients after all. We even have coupons for you. The <laughs> <laughs> fuck has got coupons? Do you have any travel buddy? <laughs> We're having a sale. Second client half <laughs> She has coupons. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, I'm excited. That's lit. <laughs> Alrighty, boys and girls, it is time for news. All right, so we have the new information about Hu Tao, the waifu 9000. So I'm curious, let's make this bigger so we can all see it and have a good time. Okay, so we are all excited for Hu Tao and I want to know more about Hu Tao. Let's go take a look. Today, we'd like to introduce the 77th director of the Wangshu Funeral Proper, Hu Tao. She took over the mantle of director and started performing funeral ceremonies for the people of Li Wei. Oh, wow. At a rather young age, Hu Tao may seem like all play and no work. Wait, wait, all play and no work? <laughs> nice. But she treats parlor operations with utmost importance. Hu Tao! All right, cool, cool, cool. So there's a new uh, English VA. It's going to be Brianna Knickerbocker, and Japanese VA is going to be Takashi Rie. Uh, chat, type out where she's from in anime. I don't know off the top of my head. Tell me out. All right. So let's go into more information about Hu Tao! Okay. Damn, there's some legs. Okay. She's Pyro, of course, and a polar user. Okay. The 77th director of the Wang Chu Funeral Party. Blah, 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 blah. We are here. Okay. Who told me to say that? Oh, blah, blah, blah. That's the same shit. Okay. Hello. More information about Hu Tao. Hu Tao, Hu Tao, Hu Tao. Hu Tao? Hu Tao. Okay. Personal details. Jin Yang on Hu Tao. She knows her. Okay. Good to know. There is some information between them. All right. Here we go. Abilities. This is what we care about. All right. The juice. We found the juice, boys and grills. Here's the juice. Okay. This is the normal attack animation for Hu Tao with a Homa Spear. Oh, man. This is an animation afterward. So that's a charge attack right there at the end of it. Okay. She does have like a like a Zhao esque type of animation. A lot of people were talking about how she talked attacked a lot like uh, Zhang Ling, but to me, this is a lot more like Zhao. And she doesn't seem like she's going to be really good with the Crescent Pike because she's not going to have enough hits going into that mode. Uh, the thing that makes Zhang Ling as well as Zhang Li really, really good is going to be on the hits that they have to trigger the normal attacks. But it looks like she's got a total of about seven or so hits that she comes in versus like the nine or ten that you would get. Out of uh, Zhengling and uh, Zhongli. So, uh, da -da -da -da. okay, so here is her E ability. Okay, this is called the Paramita Papilio State. I'm going to read it out to you first. So, increases Hu Tao's attack based on her max HP at the at time of entering the state, and attack bonus is gained that cannot exceed over 400% of her, uh, Hu Tao's base attack. Now, uh, this value, of course, is going to be really, really cool because it's 
caps at a value that is like not um not bad for free to play players it is only really going to affect people that those 400 percent that are going to go over the board on hp like using hp on a headpiece and that's just like way overkill but most people that are not using a homo spear will be completely fine if you're using an r5 homo spear that's when you start getting a little bit trickier but uh before that you should be completely fine all right hutao's attack damage is converted into pyro damage so she basically becomes Deluke. she's basically waifu Deluke at this point but this is her e ability instead of her ultimate all right and uh which cannot be overridden by other elemental infusions so you can't override it with a like, hydro or something like that so if there was a hydro infusion later on that will be an overwritten and when Param paramita papilio ends uh, what is there to know who Tao has left the battlefield? So if you leave the battlefield after you use your E on Hu Tao, you immediately lose it. Okay. It also increases her resistance to interruption, which is really, really important. So that makes it so she's harder to get staggered. So let's look at the animations here. What all it does is just put her into a different state, and she just has different normal attacks that are completely based into pyro. You can see here the, the amount of hits that she's getting into the normal attack swings after using it one two three four five six seven eight look like se uh, seven or eight autos i can count them all um in there but i think it was about seven and because it's a lower amount of autos again crescent pike that's a no go with something else especially since crescent Pike's more on physical damage okay the talent abilities that she's gonna have for hu tao you can see there's a little flower thing that gets affected on enemies right here after a charge attack now this it only occurs after using an e ability so after using e ability and use a charge attack it's gonna leave that little flower petal on the enemies what it's called is got the blood blossom effect enemies affected by the blood blossom will take increased pyro take pyro damage every four seconds this damage is considered elemental skill damage so if you wanted to boost this up of course you would use elemental skill damage to do so and um a weapon similar to the festering desire would boost that weapon boost this damage unfortunately though there is no festering desire style weapon that is in the game for polearm users i believe there's only some other weapons that you could potentially use but there might be this is maybe a um a tee up for a future pole arm that may come out as a free to play pole arm that we may be able to use that get it boosts elemental skill damage similar to the festering desire so that would be really cool if we get something like that okay um each enemy can be affected by only one blossom blood blossom effect at a time and its duration may only be a refreshed by hutao herself it doesn't actually give us our, the duration on it but i believe it's like 12 seconds i'm not 100 percent on this but i'll have to go check i believe it will take a total of three different times you can see it ticks right here for about 12 30 and that's after the charge attack so it's about half as much as whatever she would be doing for a charge attack pre-crit and i don't know if they can crit um if they can crit that would be wonderful but we'll have to see okay um that is the first uh talent that she has the second talent is going to be called spirit soother this is going to be her ultimate ability spirit soother you can see here is just going to be a giant nuke mechanic that's also going to heal hu tao and this i believe was based on her maximum hp for a total amount of missing hp let's go ahead and read it hu tao's commanding of the blazing spirits deals pyro damage in a large aoe striking enemies poggers nice um regenerates a percentage of hu tao's max hp and this effect can be triggered up to five times based on the number of enemies hit wait you can trigger the ulti five times what what do you mean it can trigger five times i'm so confused if who tells h oh the, the the healing the healing can trigger five times i'm guessing right okay um if who tells hp below 50 percent hp when enemies are hit and the damage and hp regeneration are increased so if you're using a bennett heal this is what i wanted to talk about i wasn't concerned i was actually concerned about this so if you're using a bennett heal and bennett heals who tell before she strikes the enemies on this to when you're doing damage the bennett heal pushes you above 50 percent that is going to not trigger the amount of damage increase so because it has to because the bennett heal has to keep you below the 50 percent hp threshold while it's healing if it does heal you above that point then you after the end um after hu tao hits then it won't trigger so just make sure uh if you're using bennett bennett is, is not like a full hp build that's not going to overheal hu tao too much okay so those are hu tao's abilities this all looks awesome i'm very excited about this for her i'm definitely going to be something for her i'm really excited to see it so fucking coupons <laughs> no internet no internet well, that's going to do it for this video. I have to go fix the internet for Jake. I left my camera in 30 FPS on accident. So, that stinks. What do you want? You want to say bye to YouTube? Bye. Bye, YouTube.